We know enough about climate change. It is time for decisions now. Coping with climate change. What does that mean? Climate has always determined how we live. And when it changed in the past, we adapted. So, what's new about adapting to climate change today? Shouldn't we focus on other challenges, such as education, unemployment, and economic development? Sure enough, the climate has always been changing. But the recent change, caused by our emission of gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, that increase the greenhouse effect of the atmosphere, has happened in a much shorter time frame. As a result, the Earth is warming. This change in our climate is already leading to significant impacts. Glaciers are melting faster than expected. Sea level is on the rise. And it's very likely that droughts and extreme weather events like cyclones will become more frequent. These impacts destroy people's livelihoods and homes. They damage our infrastructure and disrupt communication and trade. Moreover, climate change is endangering development successes, and the poor and marginalized are often affected the most. Okay, climate change is evidently taking place. Whether it accelerates further depends on our lifestyle and economic activities. So, is it all about reducing carbon emissions? Well, even if we were to stop emissions instantly, the world would not stop warming immediately due to the amount of gases we've already emitted. That's why we must do both. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to inevitable climate change. But how exactly can we adapt? considering that the precise extent and form of climate change aren't known. Climate projections will never be able to predict the future with absolute certainty, partly because the way in which the climate will change depends on our decisions in coming years. But do we really need certainty to make decisions? No, we routinely make decisions based on experience, facts, or insights available to us without knowing exactly what the future will bring. Yeah. And while we don't know everything about future climate change, we know enough to act. But what exactly do we need to do differently? Uh. Basically, we need to bear in mind both current and future impacts of climate change. Climate projections do not translate into concrete strategies but they can serve as guardrails for planning. We should consider how development plans, policies and projects might be affected by climate change and to what extent these in turn make climate change worse. One possible consequence of climate change is precipitation pattern changes. These may lead to both droughts and extreme rain, sometimes in the same place. We should ask ourselves how a land use plan must be changed in order to remain flexible in reacting to future challenges. What adaptation measures can help to minimize effects on the local economy and people's livelihoods? Coastal megacities worldwide are threatened by the adverse consequences of sea level rise and extreme weather events. But what does an urban planner need to consider in order to make these cities climate resilient. What are the most suitable adaptation options? Clear criteria like urgency, costs, and political and social acceptance can help to prioritize adaptation options, such as flood preparedness measures, improvement of drainage systems, wetland restoration, and coastal management. Adaptation is a learning process. We all need to continuously improve our adaptation strategies and making climate change adaptation a topic at all levels is important. There are many resources available that can support these activities, such as online information platforms like CI GRASP. We need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to the impacts of climate change. And we must start acting today together. Involve decision makers. Increase understanding about climate change. 
create awareness about the need for society to adapt. These are important first steps. Preparing for possible things to come is much better than bearing the impacts of climate change without any protection. We know enough. Now let's adapt.